Okay, continuing on, we now draw the Stinger anti-air missile strategy, which gives Rose one if she uses tanks, but minus one if she uses airplanes. So then Rose's strategy is represented by a vertical line, which she can adjust. So Colin will be able to best respond to Rose's strategy and therefore keep her on the lower envelope of his strategy lines, but Rose can adjust her strategy to get to the highest point on that lower envelope. So then we therefore conclude that Rose's equilibrium strategy makes Colin indifferent between all three of his strategies. And in this case, Colin needs to use at least one of the anti-tank weapons so that there is some possibility that Rose cannot gain just by using only tanks instead of mixing. And he also needs to use the anti-air missiles with positive probability so that there is a chance that Rose cannot gain from using planes exclusively instead of mixing. Now, Colin could just use one of the anti-tank weapons. So we will look for a couple of equilibria. So first off, we can figure out uh, what probability Rose uses tanks with. Probably the easiest way to look at this is to make a few copies of this table. And then use them as a reference. So, We know that Colin must mix in equilibrium because there is no pure strategy equilibrium of this game since there are no two pure strategies that are best responses to each other. So that means Colin is indifferent between his strategies, and we've also seen that in the diagram. So let T be the probability Rose uses tanks. So the path to artillery to Colin is 2T minus 2, 1 minus T, and the path to Stinger missiles is minus 1T plus 1, 1 minus T. And then we set these equal, expand, Combine like terms, add 2t to both sides, add 2 to both sides, and divide by 6 to get t equals 1 half. Now we can now look at an equilibrium where column uses only anti tank and anti air missiles. So now let j be the probability that column uses anti tank missiles. So the payoff to tanks to rows is minus one J plus one times one minus J and the payoff to airplanes is um, one J minus one times one minus J. And we know that Collins mixing leaves rows indifferent. So these two payoffs are equal. 
So we set them equal to each other, expand, and then combine like terms. Next, uh, we can add one to both sides. And then add 2j to both sides. And then it'll make both sides 3, 4. I read that j equals 1 half. So this gives one of the equilibria. And this equilibria can be thought of as one with the artillery crossed out since Colin is only using anti-tank missiles and anti-air missiles. So there's another one involving Colin just using artillery and anti-air missiles. And again, rows will be indifferent between our strategies in equilibrium. So we can assign A to be the probability that Colin uses artillery. And now the payoff tanks is minus two A plus one minus A and the payoff to airplanes is two A minus one times one minus A. Since Rose is indifferent, these payoffs are equal. So we set them equal to each other. And then we can expand, combine like terms, um, add the BA to both sides, add one to both sides, and then divide by six via e equals one third. So those are two equilibria of this game.